Okay, this is a tutorial of how to make a quick beat in GarageBand. What you want to do is you want to create a new music project, name it and create it. Okay, so this is the basic screen that you get right here. The first thing you want to do is you want to double click on this grand piano right here. This will give you all your instruments. You can go ahead and you could purchase other sounds so you could add to GarageBand. I've added all four packs. I think there's five now. And some AMG expansion packs and synth packs. Okay, but first what we're going to do is we're going to make a beat. So click on drum kits and select the kit that you want. I'm going to start off with Euro Dance Remix. Okay. Here it says it just replaced the grand piano and what, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, what you can do is you can pull up, click on window, musical typing, and then you have a little, a little thing right here that will let you push your keys on your keyboard to make sounds. But I have a MIDI keyboard, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the keyboard right here. You actually don't need these on the screen to use them. You can actually click X, but I'm just going to leave it on the screen so you guys can see. Alright, so what you can do is click this record button or click R on your keyboard to start recording. So let's do that. Okay, so that's basically my bar right here, my green bar, that recorded what I just made. Now, it's not 100% aligned, so if I try to add sounds to it, it's not going to be aligned 100%. So if you want to align this and sync it to the bars, all you have to do is click on this little scissors button down here. Click on this button right here. Also, this will expand it so you can look at it as and see how it's not actually aligned it's not exactly aligned if you click this and 1 to 16th of a note is usually the best one to use that's the one I find the best click that it aligned perfectly click the loop button and let's listen to it okay now to make another track, click on track, new track, or duplicate track. I usually do duplicate track because I usually use the same sounds um, when I'm making a drum kit. So I'll use the shortcut, which is Command D. So now I have another duplicate, and let's start that. Oh, and if, if the beat starts too early, you can also click on count in. It'll count like five beats before it goes in. So let's do this. Okay, so it recorded it. Let's click it. Let's sync it. Boots. Click play. All right, let's add another sound. Command D. Let's add the hi hats. Click record. R. Boots. There you go. You have a beat. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Peace.